are streaming. Are we now on the So you guys, our power's been flashing. And not one person is in here. But they will be. But they're, what, they they can't rewind it. Are they gonna rewind it? <laughs> what do you want me to do? Not say anything? Well, we have to wait for people to get in here. I will repeat myself when there's people. <laughs> 25 people. Blink of an eye. In the blink of okay. an eye. Welcome, you guys. It is 6 o'clock on a whatever day today is, and it's time to art. And today, we're teaching an alcohol ink class. Hello from Daytona Beach, Florida. Well, hello from rainy Dallas, Texas. Yeah. Oh, so what I was just saying was our power's been flashing. It's storming outside. Yeah, it just, it was just like flashed, like twice, and enough to where this monitor shut off, but came back on. <laughs> so, If it goes out, we're going to start back up on a cell phone, with just a heads up. You can see out that window, it is coming down. It is. All right, so, um, well, let's just jump right into this. How about that? What do you, what do you say? We do that? What are we doing? Alcohol in class. All right. right, let's get into it. I got all right. All right, all right. All right, it's all you. Hello. I almost said hi and a lot at the same time, so it was like hello. Doesn't make sense. Hello. Um. One camera is not working. That's funny. Because our power flashed a couple yeah. times. Sorry about Dang that. It. But he'll fix it. Here we go. So if you got the kit from us, I'm going to tell you what was in it. If you didn't, then I'm still going to tell you what was in it. So you can rustle up the same ingredients to make your very own what we're about to do. So in the kit was four coasters for any leftover resin you may have. There's a pair of gloves, there's a mixing cup, there's stir sticks, there was ink in these three shades, fuchsia, lemon yellow, and this says petroleum blue, but I don't know what petroleum is other than the jelly. So I don't know what that means, but it's a turquoisey blue, of a great pink, and then a bright yellow. There's also abalone shell, which is going to add some sparkle to our resin. There was also a stone coat art coat, part A and part B, in eight ounce kits. There was some mixing cups. There was a photo of your choice. And then there was a melamine board that we're going to work on. I don't know if I said gloves, but also gloves. What you're still going to need to rustle up is some alcohol. I'm using 91% isopropyl, but you could use whatever percent. Try to get as high as possible. A pencil and a black marker. Oh, also a heat gun, a blow dryer, or a an embossing gun. Can you point that camera just up a little bit? It's like you're cutting your eyesight off. That's good. Perfect. Also, Kudra ran out of one of his meds for a couple days because... Welcome, Julie from Oregon. Dallas, so you're going to hear him coughing a little bit more in the background. But we got his meds back today, but it's going to take a couple Brazil. days for him to get back in. Man, we haven't had anybody in Brazil, I don't think, ever. Maybe a couple people. I don't, maybe back in the day. Is 99% okay? Yes, it Good is. Joe. Okay. Come here. You sound like an old car. Love and tension, love and tension. It's amazing. As soon as he's picked up, he's no more coughing. Anyways, I'm going to give you guys a couple minutes to get 
everything together and situated. Um, I'm not going to be using a respirator, but maybe you should. You know your body better than me or anybody else. So, um, breathing in anything other than regular air is uh, probably not the best for you. So, so there. I also have a glass of Chardonnay because I'm an adult and I like to art with a glass of wine. Okay. Sippy, sippy. Um, but that's not required to do great artwork, so it's up to you. Um, I chose to do the cupcake because who doesn't like cupcakes? I think it'll go well with all the colors. But um, all of the images that I had online would be awesome. And you can print your own out at home. Um, this is going to be a quick and easy way to do an image transfer, a simple image transfer. If you have a difficult image, I wouldn't recommend this technique. I would project it. But I couldn't fit a projector in each one of the kits that we sent out. So we're doing it this way. So everybody in the class, raise your hands when you're ready to go. Oh, grab a friend, uh, one of your kids, a neighbor, your husband, a wife, whomever, and get them to be your hands so that while you're doing this and you have all the gunk on you, if you need to ask a question or ask me to slow down, uh, that can happen. I have an assistant that's being productive in another part of the studio. I will, I will get there. Hold on. I'm just, I'm going to get this table out of the way. Just driving me crazy all this stuff. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We need a professional studio organizer. Anybody? Anyone? Bueller? Uh, um, but while we're waiting, um, You guys take your time getting everything together. If at any point you have a question that I haven't answered or that I have answered and you just need a refresher, feel free to ask it. If I need to slow down or I'm taking too long, voice that because I can't see where you guys are in the process, obviously. Um, and I'm here for you, so tell me the things that I can't see that I need to know. If you have a question about other things, happy to answer it, but save those till after the class so that um, I can answer it fully without breaking my concentration. Because if you guys have been watching for a while, you know that I get distracted really easy. So while we're waiting on Jeffrey, um, if you have your pencil, Handy in your image. Okay. This is called uh, a graphite transfer. I don't know what it's called. I'm going to call it a graphite transfer. And so what that is, is we're going to color on the back of our image. I'm going to color, just put a whole bunch of pencil marks down. Then we're going to flip it over. And when we draw this out, it's going to put the graphite or pencil that we have on the back onto our surface. I got a yellow stain on here, but I'm not worried about it. Actually, maybe I can wipe it off. I'm not worried about it, but also I'm not worried about it. Arlene says, which brand of alcohol inks are these? So in the kit and what I'm gonna use are the Copic marker refills. They're super pigmented. I use many brands of alcohol ink the ones that we are using for this class, though, are Copic. Oh, and you're going to need um, a spray, a UV archival. Let me show you what that looks like. Or some kind of spray sealant. This is my favorite kind because it's... Can the graphite paper be used for the transfer? 
Heck yeah, you can use graphite paper. Absolutely. I just didn't have enough to put in all the kits that went out. This is the uh, sealant that I'm going to use, UV archival in matte. Very important that it's matte. Um, if you don't have that or any kind of spray sealant, just don't do the resin portion till you have it. This video will be up forever and ever and ever. Amen. So you can go back and rewatch it. Or if you guys are watching this at a later date and you want a complete kit, the kits will be up on the website forever, ever, and ever, and ever, amen, as well. <laughs> That's funny. Thanks to Randy Travis for that song. Oh, yeah. I was wondering, I was like, What's, why are we laughing? That's a good one. So, um, are you guys ready for us to get started, or do I need to wait? Someone give me a yay or a nay. I think they're all just setting up. The last one was is graphite. Oh, is graphite paper carbon paper? Yeah, it's it's basically the same thing. Emma, sometimes. The graphite paper can be a little messy, so just be careful where you press down. Because you'll, fingerprints. You'll, you'll mark on it, yeah. And your fingerprints show up sometimes. I've got to get new graphite paper because mine does that, and I, I'm not a fan of it at all. All right, so we're going to get started. Take your pencil and just color over every area that has any lines that are in the image that you want. I'm using a lot of pressure because I want to have these lines to be really deep, dark, so that it transfers really easily. You don't have to color anywhere that doesn't have the lines that you're going to transfer onto your board. This is just going to give us our general shape for the image that we're going to have on there. I'm going to have to sharpen my pencil before too long. You don't have to do a solid uh, graphite area because you just need the indication of where your lines are going to be because you're going to draw them in um, later. I'm going to use a black uh, Posca pen, but you can also use a uh, gold leaf, a white Posca. It doesn't even have to be Posca. Just a, a permanent marker. All of that will work. Use a paint pen. You can use a paint brush if you want to. We've done so many pieces where we use this technique to transfer the image. It's really handy when you don't have any transfer paper or graphite, carbon paper. And you want to make sure your proportions are accurate without doing the this and this and this and, or creating a, a grid. For simple images that you want to keep um, proportionate without too much stress is the best way to do it. Trust me, we've done the test, so you don't have to. <laughs> this is true. Almost done.
This just looks like a static cupcake now. I know this is kind of a boring part for just the people that are just watching, but this is goes to the prep is important thing that Jeff likes to say a lot. Important. It is important because if you don't get all of your lines colored in pretty dark and you go to transfer and you draw it out and you didn't do this dark enough then it's not going to transfer onto your board. Then you're going to have to try to line everything back up. It's not a fun time. This is one of our more um, intricate, more involved class kits. There's just a lot that goes into this kind of artwork, but we do demo on demand and you guys requested an alcohol ink kit. That's what we're doing because we're here for you. We are here for you. All right, I got all of my lines drawn in and colored in. So I'm just going back over it and making it darker while I wait for Yun's to catch up. You look at my cupcake. Yeah. Very it's a static cupcake. It's static -y cupcake. Cheers to y'all at home coloring with me today. It means a lot to me that you guys are here. Please, when your hands are clean, take a minute to like our videos, share, subscribe. Can't do this without y'all. Claire's in the house. Howdy. Shane, what's up? Didn't see you there. What it do, Shane? So y'all tell me when you're ready to move on. Um, B, do you think charcoal would work? Yeah, it works. It's real messy though. Mm, yeah, it's, messy. it's I'm just going to be sure to use a lot of pencil. Okay. Are y'all ready? Ready, ready, I'm ready. Hi, Judy. Hi. Judy. Betty, that's not G U D. Oh, hi, other Judy. So this is how I measure and see that and make sure that my image is center. I use the pencil that I have, and I put my hand to where my finger touches the board and see how much room I have, and then I do it up here. But you can also just eyeball it. Perfect. All right. If you've got tape handy, tape your image down. I don't have any tape handy. So I'm just going to put pressure in the center and then start drawing my image. 
Judy says, how about a class similar to this, but with lips and glitter and stones? That would be a very expensive class. <laughs> would be very expensive. It'd be fun. You guys let me know if that's something you're interested in. So as you guys can see on this piece, I have thin lines and thick lines. You could, if you wanted to, draw on the outside of the dark line. So you have two lines so you know where to color in. I'm not doing that because I'll just look at this when I'm drawing it with a black marker to see where I want the image to have thicker or thinner lines. I just need this to give me my proportions. Just a baby boy. It's just a baby boy. Yeah, it would be fun. <laughs> Bowie, this is just a wrapper. It's nothing. <laughs> he just kind of looks off like, I don't want to be over here. Is he scared of it or is he interested in it? A bow. It's just a wrapper, though, like just a plastic wrapper. Good. Voila! Cupcake. B, can I see? No. It's just, they can kind of see it, yeah. It's not that light, look. Well, I know, but just on there, it just doesn't pick it up that well. So now that I have this, and while I'm waiting on everyone, I'm just going to take my pencil and give it a little bit more um, of a darker line because we are adding some alcohol, and I don't want it to melt everything away. friends is how to easily and quickly and painlessly get some proportions on your board. Pro tip finished. Looks good, right? Looks just like it. What's up, Manuel? So you can see that these lines are thicker and thinner in some areas, and I'll just add that later with my pen, my black pen. Manual says, instead of an eraser, okay. can you use the delete key? Mm -hmm. Manual just say, thank you, I'll be here all week. So he's like, you're funny. But do Meow. Where is my, Never mind. Y'all let me know when you're good to go. And we'll move on. Clara, thanks for helping out. Is she leaving? Uh-uh. Oh. She's just like, she's just giving people little pointers and tips and stuff. Clara is also amazing with alcohol inks. If you haven't checked her channel out, I don't know what you're doing with your life. She is working her way to a million subscribers, and she is always in here to help out our channel, so... Give her some love. Mm. You won't regret it. Mm. Nope. 
Everybody ready? If not, no worries, no stress, just let me know. Trina, welcome back. Looks like you've been out for a minute, she says. She has been gone. She left us. This is gonna be such a fun project. I'm glad you guys are here to do this with me. trainer called on my party mm. so because uh, when we used our pencil on the back of that paper and it we transferred onto here if you run your hand across that you're gonna smudge it but it should still leave enough of a line so that you know what you're about to do But it's okay because the alcohol will act as an eraser for some of these rogue lines. Look, B, I made it glow. Thanks. I learned that from my B. On say. Pink. Mm. Just cheers to y'all. I don't know if you felt that. I guess I went a little fast because no one's saying they're ready. One sounds good. Be right back. I'm going to start doing other things. Y'all tell me if I need to slow down or if you're ready. Um, Christine with the K says, I spray painted a glass vase with matte white. Would I be able to use this method on the vase? I wouldn't leave it matte. I would spray it with spray gesso that I have somewhere. It's from Krylon. Comes in a can, like any aerosol. And I would do a couple coats of that, sand it with a 400, then you could. Emma says, Erica, stop. It's like one of those videos that wrecks stuff to stress people out. <laughs> I'm not sure what that means. Emma. She's telling me to stop? I guess. I don't, I don't know. Are you painting along with us, Emma? I, probably not, because... Evelyn, did you catch anything? Pokemon? No. She oh. went fishing. She's just watching. Evelyn's a trip. We um, were fortunate enough to meet her in Florida and her husband. Didn't he serve uh, yeah. in the military? I have horrible memory. Is anyone telling me to go or not go? You're all just talking. Are you guys ready? All right, y'all have one minute till I'm moving on unless someone says. One minute. One minute. that she's drinking some wine so I'm having sitting her picture in mind. If you guys are new to the channel, this is a very communal, environmental, group setting type, very relaxed stream. So there's a lot of chatter. If you're not a fan of it, jump on over to our other channel, ATD Time Lapse, where you can see a lot of the videos here but in time lapse format. So you can skip all the jibber jab.
been a minute. Anybody? We're ready. I see three ready. We said ready. Yes, they're ready. Team right. go. We are chill. Sweet. Grab your gloves and your alcohol. Both beverage and <laughs> isopropyl. Don't drink the isopropyl. They have been ready. My bad. Okay. Isopropyl alcohol. The key to my artwork is I drench the piece in alcohol. This keeps my inks fluid. And I always work with colors that if they mix together, make an awesome color. So. Alcohol. All right. It's not completely doused, but I would say 90% is covered with alcohol. Now, I always start with the yellow because it seems to fade first. Oh <gasps> my goodness, I didn't get my uh, other one. I also put some marabou in there. So in your kits, you also have my favorite shiny alcohol ink. This is from Marabou. It's called Rainbow. I bottled all of what you guys have in your kits and put a little BB in there so you could shake it up. Shake up your Marabou before each use. All right, I'm starting with my Marabou. I'm just going to put drops all around. Make sure you shake it up first or it won't do. All right, now I'm gonna try to keep some, a little. Um, it looks like it's still going, reconnected. All right, looks like we're still good. Sorry, y'all. So, I don't know what the last thing you guys heard was, but I'm not putting a whole bunch of ink down. I think that's really key to not getting too dark. Um, I just put a few drops. So I'm gonna just kind of shake it up a little bit, get the party started with my colors, get a little bit of a blend going. That way I can see where I need to add other colors. Thanks, Clara. You can also just use your face to blow it around. I use that technique pretty often. If you have to, add a little bit more alcohol to keep things fluid. I like that these two colors make a fun purple, so I just added another drop of pink over here get that purple going. You just drop the colors however you like how it looks. I sent you guys with the best brand of the best colors for what what I do. So it's going to be really hard to not come out with something that you're over the moon with. Now when you have your colors down, take your heat gun. If you're using a heat gun, use it on low everything. A little bit of heat, but low air and low heat. If you're using a blow dryer, keep it further back. Low heat, low blow. Embossing gun, also low. And you're just going to still manipulate your inks around. And what's happening is the heat from your whatever you're using is causing the alcohol to evaporate out of your surface. And where the alcohol evaporates, it's going to deposit the color. If you find that you ever have too much color or too much alcohol on your surface, just take your rag that came in the kit and dab some of that out. It'll end up filling back in. Ooh. 
there's a glitter all over this rag and it's depositing specks of glitter into this piece. Will you toss me another rag? There you go. As you can see, you can still see our drawing through the alcohol inks. Which is what we're going for. While I'm going through this, if anyone has any questions about anything at all, um, feel free to ask. I am adding a little bit more pink where my cherry is. I don't know if it's gonna stay there, but I feel better about having added it. Nope. Try not to stand right over your piece while you're Letting all the inks evaporate. Shouldn't be breathing that in. Since it's humid here, I have a little bit of coagulation in some spots. Which I'll just use to my advantage in the design. Aaron Lewis said... Hey y'all, haven't seen y'all in two years, so glad to be back. Where have you been, Aaron? E-R-I-N Lewis. Yeah. Wait, you're complaining about glitter into your piece? Oh my god. <gasps> Giggle. It was Clara. deep red glitter. It wasn't fitting with my overall motif. I choose to heat my surface slowly so that I don't end up with too many hard lines. But if that's something you're about, go for it. In fact, these, this line is bothering me a bit, so I'm going to add some more alcohol on this outside area. And melt that out so it doesn't look like what it did look like. Also, this is bothering me a bit. I'm gonna drop some more alcohol in there. And it's like it never happened. Ooh, ah, I need more teal in there anyway. What do you guys think of that rainbow by Marabou? It's one of my favorite things to use. I'm just slowly letting a lot of these areas dry on their own time so I don't have too many lines. I like the lines, but I don't want them to be too distracting since we are doing a lot of dark lines with our Posca pen or whatever pen you have handy.
My table's a little bit off center, so all of my ink is running to this corner, so that's why I keep dabbing it. If I had a blow dryer, I would be blowing from up here. Because of the amount of airflow, even on low. But an embossing gun is softer, I guess. So that's why I'm super close. Teresa said, have you ever had any problems with alcohol swelling the board from the sides being, being raw exposed wood? I have. One time when I was doing tests for this, the kits for this class. Yeah, it was just a regular... It was a it was white, a dry erase board. Yeah, it was a dry erase board, and it it worked. That was the only time, though. The boards that we sell and we teach you guys how to prep, not once ever had that issue. And I've done a few tests on these boards, haven't had that issue. Also, these boards are available on our website now. I love working with alcohol inks, but I love working with them in like my style, which is basically these colors. And I don't want people to get tired of my favorite colors, so I don't do that many. Jamie just said I have power if you need some. I guess people are running out of power. For what? You know how our power flashed? Yeah. I'm asking her if, like, it's out in some places. Oh, shout out to Jason Fink for um, sending us an electric blanket. Dude, that thing is awesome. Thank you. You said Jason? Yeah. Jason, thank you. So my board's basically dry, but I want to make extra sure, especially in these darker ridges. So Hello, Sue. take your time in those areas. Kim Nelson, what's up? Hey, Kim. Hello, Sue. Y'all, I'm loving how this looks. B, what do you think? That looks awesome. You can still see your cupcake, right? You're supposed mm -hmm. to be able to see it. Yeah, I can see it. Do you see it? Mm. You should be able to still see faint lines of your image. Sorry, New York. We live. Now, I'm done with my inks and my alcohol, and while I'm waiting on y'all, I'm gonna put this up. Uh, as you can see, I only have bits of yellow still, so that's why I like to use more yellow in the beginning, because that always happens. We need to leave a sticky note on our this area to get uh, Love's music up. Oh yeah. While I'm waiting on y'all, I'm gonna take my pencil and just darken in some of the lines that faded a little bit too much. <laughs> You're gonna fall off here. If you can still see all of yours, then uh, this part is not necessary. I can still see all of mine. I just want to be 
sure. And I like sketchy lines in my artwork. Arlene says, can I do two colors initially to avoid mud and when they are dry, add third color and alcohol? Um, you can, but when you add alcohol to add your third color, it's going to mess up. It's going to interrupt everything. So if you're going to do it that way, use a little bit of a blending solution. Yeah, like a little, <laughs> like, yeah, a little yeah. glow worm. Um, use a little bit of blending solution. Don't use a lot because it'll coagulate some and it's real oily. So in order to avoid mud, just use colors that work well together. South just side, put down a little. Right? South side flats and all the townhomes are out. Whoa. Why do you do that? Why is he going to lay right on the edge? So he can touch you. No, but like I wasn't even there. Look. I got nothing. His hair just cascades over the... It's a belly waterfall. So you guys, how is it going? Do I need to wait? Or are you guys good? LMK, as the kids like to say. Ugh, gotta chill. Must have been you guys. I love how this piece is turning out. Every time I hear that sound. And that shot over there too. How do you guys like that marabou that's in your piece? Hello, like, Trissa. Welcome. Amazing. Everybody loves the little yellow glow. Which I love it too. Down here? My glow? I know colors, yeah. And, uh, and now blue, yellow, and pink make mud. Oh. You have to separate them. You can't throw them all together yeah, inside together. of each other. If you don't like what your piece is looking like, get a rag, the rag that came in the kit, alcohol, wipe it away. You are not committed to it. Just wipe that sucker down, reset, start over. Also, use less. Oh. Use less of the inks, like less of the colorants. It'll help you avoid getting mud. So when I started, I did a little bit of yellow here, yellow here, mostly of the blue here, mostly the pink here, and then a drop around. And then I made sure to dab up when it started getting too full of liquid or too full of color. Dab, don't be afraid to dab some of that out because you will get mud if you're not careful. Mud. So yeah, mud. <laughs> Y'all, I'm gonna post a pity, a, a video, a video, a picture, not a video, in ATD's poor people of Cujo. Like, so this is what you're trying to tell me. Eating mud. The, this, this is, is what, what your I piece look like. looks like. Mud. <laughs> so he's 13. 12, he's going to be 13 this year. He's had a lot of teeth pulled because he's older and he's a small dog and that's just a thing. So we've decided that he has a list now. So he says mud. Okay. So unless y'all tell me, we're going to move on. Kim Nelson is painting her hair. That's a fun job. Next step is to spray your sealant, your workable fixative, your archival spray. Just scoop. There. Whatever you have. I swear there should be a little ball rattling around in here, right? I don't think for stuff like that. I've never seen anything. I've never... Matt? Matt does it. But I've never seen that stuff do it. Ah. 
with the older one. Ah. Well, you probably just gotta rattle it. You gotta smack it on the table. So it's important to do matte because anything past matte, I think satin's okay, but semi-gloss and gloss have some kind of alcohol properties in it that when you spray it, it's going to reignite or reactivate your inks. So matte. One really good coat will do it. If you don't have some kind of spray sealant, uh, you can proceed with this. Um, resin just fades it a little bit. Just the setting process of resin will fade it a bit. Or it has for me in the past. So that's why I use the archival spray to just protect it from wet resin. By all means, you don't have to use it. And if you want to just wait till you have a spray sealant, then just do the resin part after. Or you can just leave it like this. You don't have to put resin on it if you don't want to. I like alcohol inks that are matte as well. It has that frosty look. If you look at my frosty, I'm going to throw this at you. I'm looking at you. I know. What do you think? You love it. It looks amazing so far. Mm, thanks. Meow. It's time for the marker. When y'all are ready. Cheers. Think. When you're ready, you're going to take whatever writing uh, situation you have, utensil, words are hard, and you're going to draw in wherever you want your pencil lines to be visible or black or whatever color you're using. This is where you can make artistic changes if you want as well. Make sure everything's really dry or it's going to pull up your inks. This one is drying out, so it's pulling out my inks. There we go. I'm going to get a slightly thicker one of those.
is that removing ink? It was dried out, so it was keeping up the ink. It was just scraping it. So, I'm using a better one. Well, and you might need to let that dry a little bit more. Sometimes it, you literally have to let it dry completely for those Posca pins to work. Yeah, this this other Posca pen isn't giving me the same issues as that thin one. You're seeing kind of what I'm seeing. It looks like the like a, a halo around the lines. Halo. Yeah, like there's black and then there's white. Yeah, that looks better. It's just because of all the colors and the light and stuff. No, no you're fine. I just don't want people to think that it's um. Not working. So if uh, if y'all are out there and you're not participating in the class and your hands aren't uh, sticky, all sticky or alcohol inked up. Um, let us know where you're from and I would love to know if you're new um, how did you hear about us that would be awesome little story um, how did you come across this um, and where you're from inky Oh, you guys made me ink. You guys made me ink. Susan said from NEPA, Northeast Pennsylvania. I don't know. <laughs> I heard about you on Sharon Lindley's channel. Yeah, Sharon's awesome. Lindley's channel. She mentioned you, so I checked you out. Awesome. Cowdy Ugly is how far I go back. Uh, when we were doing the Cowdy Ugly mural. Following Mixed Media Girl, she spoke of this class, and I jumped in it. Yeah, I meant to get... Blue Ridge Mountains in GA. Georgia. Brisbane, I found you all from Stone Cold Georgia. Countertops. Casey says, from Florida. Been a fan for quite a while. You guys are great. You mean you've been a fan for quite a while? 
B, look, it's a cupcake. I'm a cupcake. I'm a cupcake. I'm a cupcake. Fire. You're a cupcake. Sandra Carson says Dyer, Nevada. Envy. Mm -hmm. I'm fairly new. I watched many of your videos, but rarely catch you live. I'm happy to have you. She heard about us from Stone Coat. That's been a big, big deal for us. Oh, Mike and Stone Coat family over there. So you guys don't have to do that last bit. It's just part of my style. Shane's over there in Utah. Utah. Plaz mouth, Platt's mouth, Nebraska. Hot rot, Nebraska. Uh, Teresa uh, Ketterlint. Um, Katie. I'm not even gonna try to say that last name. Mike. Every time I start reading like small stuff, my my contact starts. To... She heard she heard about it from Anne Marie Ritterhoff. <gasps> Anne Marie's amazing. Um, we use a lot of Teresa her words. said she got it to attend one of our in person classes. I can't say that last name. It's just We're eight do seven art studio, Tyler, Texas, with Dallas. Tyler, we drive through through there on occasion. Pretty Wicked Desire says hi from High Desert in California. Been a subscriber for a while now. Well, thank you very much. Donna Lee says hi from Quebec, Canada. Heard about you from Clara. From Clara, she is awesome. Northeast Pennsylvania, Susan. I appreciate you guys, and I appreciate everyone that spreads the word about us because we're trying really hard to get to 50,000 subscribers, and I can't do it without you, so please. Emma, I, I have not share. tried your last name. I won't. <laughs> Emma's last Casey, name? Casey Nash says, Erica, can you use Posca pins to draw on resin? You sure can. Absolutely, 100%. You can use Posca pins. You can use uh, One Touch Gold pins. They're silver pins. Pen, pen touch? Pen touch. You said uh, one touch. Uh, is there two kinds? I don't know. Pen touch. Um, you can airbrush on it. You use acrylic markers, acrylic paint. So the splatter deal is just something that I do for my artwork. You don't have to do that. Some people like a cleaner look. I like this look, so that's why I do that. B, what do you think of my splatters? Need more or less? Well, hope not less because can't erase that. That looks good. How'd you do those splatters? Just like I always have. Just push your pin down a lot. No, I just oh, take just it and go. Mm -hmm. I think that the ball bearing that's in it coming down really fast, like pushes it out. But I gotta make sure those bits are really dry before we do the resin, which is the next part. So let me know when you guys are ready. Jessica Terry says, I'm here from Tennessee. And I heard about you guys from Creative Escapades by Kim Beville. Beville? Oh yeah, Kim. Love her. Very talented. Thanks. By the way, what is the difference between pigments and alcohol ink? When you say pigment, what kind of pigments are we talking? Because alcohol ink is technically a pigment, but it's an alcohol-based pigment. How is that camera? What is that camera going to Somehow... We have um, one camera off. I need a little bit more dots right here, so this is how I do it. Mm. And this comes up. Mm. 
Pretty Wicked Desire says, I like the splatters. Did we talk about between pigments and alcohol ink? Um, I asked what kind of pigments they're referring to because technically, did you see the lights flash? No. You did. Uh, alcohol inks are an alcohol based pigment, so what other kind of pigments would you let me get? compare them to. Happy to do it, just want to know. Casey um, Nash said, I just ordered a bunch of pigment paste from you. That's the one that was talking about alcohol and ink and milk. Huh? She said that she ordered pigments from us. Pigment paste. Oh. The so pigment paste is thicker. It's a it's more thicker. Alcohol ink is really thin. So the pastes are made for resin. You have to mix them into resin for them to dry. And alcohol inks you can use in resin, but they're not light fast, so they're more than likely going to fade to some extent over time. Uh, they're also transparent where most pastes are opaque. Um, if you like the transparent look, we carry a line by Color Obsession. They're tints, they're transparent, and they're just as vibrant as alcohol inks, but they're made to put in resin. All right, so we're good to go. Next step, resin. Are y'all good to move on? I think she wants an explanation of different pigments. All the different pigments in the whole world? I don't know. Aaron really said that. Alright, this is 10 inches. We're just doing a clear coat. So I'm going to do... Robin Fraser says... Four ounces. You all have given me back my faith and relationships. Cutest, coolest couple ever. Aww. Phenomenal artist, too. Uh, did you know that we're engaged? <laughs> <laughs> Still makes my heart so happy. I'm gonna I'm gonna make a video. I'm gonna have to record it. Maybe we can we can like can snatch it off it. Facebook. Um, the video that I that I recorded live uh, when I proposed to her uh, at Breckenridge. We didn't have anybody filming, but I was filming live. Um, but somebody took a picture. And you don't really get the whole gist of how it went down. So I want to try to make a, a video with, uh, with how that, how, what it looked like, basically. Yes. Vamps in the house. Vamps in the house. Vamps in the house. Cat, cat, cat. She's been in the house. She's just been in the shadows. Shane said, hey, Emma, are you ready? Here it goes. And then he spelled out her last name. There I said it. Do you want to hear it again? So great. Shane, that was a good one. Uh, so I'm mixing four ounces. It's going to be more than enough. Technically for a clear coat, uh, you need three ounces per square foot. I'm mixing four. I do have coasters on the ready. Um, when you mix your resin, mix the part B first. And then, obviously, then the part A. And then you need to mix for three minutes-ish. Don't breathe this stuff, no matter what brand you're using. Is alcohol inks the same ink used for retouching negative or canvas portraits and photography? I don't know that I they no use idea. alcohol inks. I can't, I can't answer I to don't, that. I don't think so. We touching negative. I'd have to look that up. Um, I will tell that, you that's some everything old that I school stuff right there. know for a fact, and then I will also tell you things that I assume, aka e science. Um, but also, I'll let you know when I have no idea, and this is something I have no idea about, is what if they use alcohol ink to retouch. I have to assume, though, that the answer is no. 
because of the light fast issues. And if, I don't know how alcohol would react to photographs. I don't know if it would do something. Or maybe that's why they use alcohol ink specifically because it just works. I don't know, I'd have to look it up. I have to hit that Google. But I can report back to you and let you know what I find. I know it hasn't been three minutes yet, but I also want to ask if it's been three minutes yet. It's like when you're in the car going to get lunch and you're starving and you're like, are we there yet? No, I'm good and well. You still have 15 minutes of traffic. Come here. So for this, we're using Stone Coat Art Coat. It's my jam resin. I want to show you guys how this turned out. I haven't posted a video. So it cured just as described. Um, it was tacky set after the hours that it said. And I can just barely see a nail print when I press in. So this is a very good hard cure for day two. However, I don't know if you guys can see this. There are a lot of divots. in this piece. That could be because it's colder here. It could be because the amount of heat I put on it. But the other pieces that we did with it also have some divots. So I'm going to have to retest that bit. However, I will say that it looks like the action that we got with it is beautiful, so I'm, I'm still a fan. Still a fan. Now I have gold glitter everywhere. How is this happening? Are right, you guys ready to proceed? What's y'all's status? Pretty, pretty wicked desire says, I missed the beginning. How did you apply the ink? With alcohol. Ona Vega says, I've been with you since the first, been with you since you first started way back. Yeah. O O N A Vega. Oh, Una, Ana, Ana, Ana? Ms. Vega. She has <laughs> been with us for a while. I remember. Yeah, Stone Coat's way more liquidy than Total Boat, which is fine. It's just a visual comparison since we were just talking about Total Boat from yesterday. Okay, I'm going to say it's been three minutes. Yeah, we're good. Now, in your kit, you also got some abalone shell from Resin Art. Resin Art is my jam if I'm using a not a paste. <coughs> Uh, in your kit, you have some stir sticks. I'm using not stir sticks because y'all buy them too fast and I can't keep up. I'm putting just a little bit. I gave you way more than you're going to need. A little bit at a time so we can build the color and make sure we're not making the resin too cloudy so we, we can't see our piece. We're just trying to get a little bit of sparkle. Just want a little bit of shimmer. Hairbrush or was it a pour? No, that's she just laid down some some alcohol, then put the alcohol ink down, and then put a little bit more alcohol on it and kind of squished it around, and then slowly dried it with a heat gun. That's exactly what happened. This video will stay up forever and ever and ever, amen. So you can go back and look. Um, if you want to just check it out, but yeah, Jeff, it does look a little airbrushy in some areas for sure, but it was all alcohol. Ink Betty said, I choose a mermaid and I'm not liking the result. I think I'm going to wipe it off and find something else. 
Well, that's the fun part about this is. Yeah, mm, if you don't not like a problem. it, just take some alcohol, put it on the rag, and then just. Oh, I put my. I already sealed this in, but. <laughs> it's like that doesn't work that well. No, but if I put some elbow behind it, look. See, it's coming off. Is that straight line I just took off right there? Now I have a hard edge. I'm going to have to fix it real quick. There. You can wipe it off. Uh, if you've already sealed it and then you don't like it, use a little bit more elbow grease. I'm building up my sparkle, so I'm testing it by seeing how thick it is on my stir stick. I want to make sure that I can see all the way through to, to my stir stick, so that it's not so full of pigment and not cloudy. So that I can't see my artwork. We worked hard on it. We want to be able to see it, right? Right. Also, if there's something you don't like about your piece, and um, before you wipe it off, snap a photo, send it to me, and we can discuss what you don't like, what you do like, and how I can help you fix it. Unfortunately, since this is an online situation, I can't see what people are doing. But if you send me a photo, I can reverse engineer what's going on and help. All right. Gold glitter. I'm loving this piece. That yellow is so perfect down there. I wish I had more yellow in it, but it looks good just being like yeah, just there. Yeah, that's like, it's just perfect. It's like a shadow, but also the sun. It's just yellowness. What resin is that? This is Stone Coat Art Coach. Right then, after you have your resin down, take your heat source and pop your bubbles. You're going to have bubbles in there just from mixing your part A and part B together. It's just part of the game. But heat will pop it. You don't want to liquefy your resin too much, so don't use too much heat. Just sweep your heat source over it. Now the cool thing about stone coat is that it's so thick, it has a thick enough viscosity that it'll dome. So if you have a right angle substrate like this, it it'll go huge, to the yeah. edge and just round out. So it that's what doming is. Pardon? You can't. No what? That side camera is not hooked up for some reason. So I can't go lower to you. Alright, I can bring this one down. Ready? Yeah. No, no you can't. I'm gonna bring you guys up. It, it was up. It was like I had zoomed it in. I had a head zoomed it in anyways. But I didn't know if you were going to do something um, to the side. I wonder why I don't get my notifications on here. I don't know. 
loving this. I'm going to do a video real quick and post on ATD. Actually, mm, yeah. B, will you do the video? What? My hands are sticky. Will you just bring your camera over here? And... With a flash, though, because of the abalone. So, like that resin just looks amazing. I wish people could see that sparkle on my camera, but. If you could have put like red, um, just a glass finish, red gold leaf on that cherry. Oh, wow, that's nice. Well, we'll just do another cupcake, a bigger one. Um, I'll post that on ATD's for people right now. Desperate zone. Is it? Do I have any paper in here? Um. No. Let me. Hold on. Let me. You could put it up on the top. Let me get some paper. Oh yeah, you can put it with the uh, the left side. The uh, the snow coat. you over to the end? Are you, are you going to do some more? I have the coasters that are in the kit. I don't have enough resin to do all of them. And we're going to go just overhead. Okay. So I'm just going to drop some alcohol ink into this. Um, into these. But um, I'm doing so knowing that they're not light fast and the colors are going to end up fading over time. But I don't want to waste this resin. I'd rather waste a couple drops of alcohol ink knowing they may fade instead of wasting an ounce of resin. You can also just mix the alcohol ink directly into your resin if you have some more mixing cups at your disposal. Hope you guys enjoy doing these alcohol ink things. It is not the easiest thing to do. If you ended up with a little bit of mud, don't feel bad. The first 15 pieces I did with alcohol ink maybe, I was not happy with. It takes a little bit of time, it's a learning curve. Um, but you'll get it, promise. All right, that's a MDF or acrylic coasters. These are MDF. How do I get those notifications on here? It's so weird. So I'm 
going to just drop some alcohol ink in and just blow it around and see what happens. That video is up on ATD's Poor People. Oh. So I just, somebody's post that said, my mind is blown. It is called The Mall because instead of just going to one store, you go to them all. Yeah, someone just made that up. And then somebody right below it said, I can't decide if you came up with this and people are just, oh my God, stupid. <laughs> or if this is like, duh, people are like, oh my God, stupid. <laughs> like, it makes sense and then you're like, but is it really like am i just also no. reading into that too much yeah what did you do did you put resin down first yeah i thought you didn't put alcohol ink in resin see i discussed all of this just a second ago oh. i told everyone i don't usually do this because it's not light fast but yeah. I'd rather waste a couple drops of alcohol ink than an ounce of resin. Debbie asked, did y'all ever test printer ink to see if alcohol, oh, test printer ink to use as alcohol ink? Someone swears it works, but I'm doubtful about color saturation. And I will do the elements. test for you, but I'll say my printer ink is more expensive than alcohol ink. I don't know why you would use. Yeah, we have some extra, like, I have, um, where's that at? I have one thing of it that I know I'm not gonna, well, maybe it was from an old one, so maybe we can use it. I don't know where it's at. Also, the color is so limited. Like why? There's like there's some that take like four or five different like. Okay, four or five. How many Zinzin? alcohol ink colors are there? You can make some. Or. You could just get alcohol. I will do the test for you. But maybe it's because we have the type of printer that we have that alcohol ink is less expensive than printer ink. What do y'all think? I'll do the test for you either way. I feel like these would look a lot cooler if I prepped the coasters white. But they don't look horrible. What do we think? I'm not a fan of it on that color. Yeah, it would have looked better on white. However, use what you got, you know? Maybe after this, I'll just take some black lines and, like, make it into a stained um, glass. Betty says, I purchased the Fantasy Peacock kit. I don't see a video for it. Does it still exist? So the Fantasy Peacock kit, the Eyes of the Ocean, and then there's, I think, the primary color kit doesn't have a corresponding video because we did that before we taught classes but I'll do a video for you. Uh, Cara 
Ziegler, the art collective said, great show tonight. Thanks again for sharing your knowledge and skills. You are great humans. Congrats on your engagement. Thank you. I watched it and loved the proposal. Nicely done from Nova Scotia. Nova Scotia. Thank you very much. We appreciate that. Mom from Mad TV. It's kind of what she sounds like. Oh my God, Giuliano. <laughs> Looks so different with his haircut. Him? Did you ever see him? They chopped his hair off, Giuliano. Him? Giuliano. He, they cut that baby's hair. He doesn't want to do the same Chopped thing. it all off. Send him back. Send back <laughs> <the> hair. <laughs> right, you guys. How's everyone's piece looking? So if you ever come to one of our real life in-person classes, they're formatted very differently than this. In the beginning, we do a demo um, of whatever you guys want to learn in that class. And then we walk around and help you as you go. I wish I could do that. Social distortion. During so this type of class. Mini Kravitz. Um, Unfortunately, that's not possible. But moving forward, when the world's out of timeout, we'll have more classes. I think our next one's going to be in Santa Cruz. Come come up. You guys get to see bow pants. Bow pants. Bow pants. It's a big, big, big bow pants. So, you guys, how's everyone's pieces going? Is there anything I can help with? Questions, comments, concerns, compliments? No, just kidding. <laughs> compliments? Come here, fluff butt. Come here. Oh, come here. Anybody have any questions, concerns, compliments, I mean, comments? Nice ring, somebody said. Thanks. I got from my beat. Where are you guys located at? Dallas, Texas. Downtown. Oh, he got me. Babe, uh, all his parts are hanging out. I'm sorry. He flipped over on his own. Check tape. Okay, Miss. Okay, okay. Hey. Shh. 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 Coming into your face, Pete. Coming into your face. What? There you go, don't you know? Hello everybody. Don't give up on the alcohol links. Okay. I was able to fix my mud. <laughs> I have no doubt. What what was your solution? Hey, 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 hey. 
Erica said fluff butt and Bowie showed his to the camera. At least his butt's clean. But I think it was a carbon paper I used, plus there was a chip in my board, and I think the color was coming up out of that. There was a chip. I'm sorry, TG. I think I sent you two. I can't remember. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. Right, Shane? I want to see two. So if you guys don't have any questions. Questions. I have to take care of the boys. Take them for a walkie walk. You know how to go on walkie walks? Walk walks. Walk walks. Yep. You guys, thank you so much. Um, there was like to almost 87 watchers tonight. Thanks, Very all of you amazing. Seven, y'all. Uh, thanks for showing up. Thank you for supporting us. Thank you for buying stuff from us. When we started this, we were like, who's going to buy stuff from us? Like, what? who's going to buy some stir sticks from a couple people that don't even know what they're doing? A couple of yo-yos that are like, <laughs> we got it, so you don't have to. Yeah, that's so funny. You guys are so awesome. We appreciate everything you guys do for us. Um... Thank you again, Jason, for the electric blanket. That was pretty awesome. Um, and, uh, you know, always, always, always be kind to one another because you never know what somebody's going through. Um, and just know in your heart of hearts that Erica and I do the tests Babe, now that's terrible. What if somebody couldn't hear that? They can hear it. If I have a sniffle on the other <laughs> side of the house, they can hear it on this mic. Anyway, so you don't have to! <laughs> I know you guys missed that. We'll see you guys tomorrow, 6 p.m. Central Standard Time, Friday. Bye. I said bye. I guess that's all for now, but it's okay. That's convenient. I love this.